This conference will now be recorded. Today is day three of week one. So if you are joining this new in June, congratulations for getting through week one, or this could be week seven. So let's get started with a nice light warm up. So before we even start, big deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Let's do it one more time. Add the arms. Inhale. Exhale out and just try to release all the tension that you guys have. Let's get focused into today's session. One more big inhale. Arms up. Exhale as the arms come down. And we're going to step and reach it across. Today is lower body strength and core. Reach it up and over. Bring it back down across. Pivoting that back toe. Okay, and remembering every cue about good posture. Bring it back up and over, you guys. So keeping those shoulders back and down. Keeping a really strong core. All right, you guys, body weighted squats, just down and up. Just start to think about how this feels. Do you feel your knees? Do you feel your back? What's going on? How are you guys? Work in your breath. So with squats, sit it back in your heels. Four more. All right, we're gonna step it back into a reverse lunge. Bring it up and do a little knee hug. Step it back, same leg, knee hug. Step it back. Try to focus on that balance, hugging in that knee, get a little glute stretch. Two more, step it back. Knee hug. Other leg, same thing, step it back, hugging in that knee, step it back, reverse lunge. Two more. All right, we're going to do leg swings. So we're going to step and stand on one leg. And just swinging like a pendulum, one leg forward and back. Warming up those joints. Okay, same leg, we're gonna go out and then back in. So kind of like you're gonna step over a gate in both directions. So warming up that hip. Step it out and over, and back in, and leg swings on the other side. If you need to hold on to a wall or a chair, just a nice light pendulum swing. Okay, we're gonna open, like stepping over, that gate and close it. So it's all coming from that hip. Open, close, open, and close. One more each way. Back to squats, 10 body weighted squats. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, last one. Step it back into that reverse lunge, and this time we're gonna rotate towards that front side. Step it back to standing, rotate towards the front leg. Coming back to standing. One more each way.
Okay, from standing, you're gonna just forward fold, walk it forward, nice strong plank, and sit it back into down dog. Pedal out those heels, feel it in a nice calf stretch. Take a few deep breaths here. Step it in, slowly roll up, you guys. Nice big inhale, we're gonna get started. Grab a quick drink. All right, here's where we're gonna begin. We have four sets of two exercises at 10 reps each, squat to reverse lunge, and RDL stands for Romanian deadlift. So you're gonna need, as an option, um, medium to heavy weights, or that one heavy bag or kitchen pot. This can also be done with just body weight. And that's where I'm gonna start for the first one. So squat, and then we're gonna step it back into that reverse lunge and squat. So every time we squat, we're gonna count once. We're just alternating from squat to reverse lunge. And we have 10. Four rounds of two exercises. That's what's first. The deadlift is what's second. So if you have weights or an object or a pot or a bag, you're gonna hold it out in front. You're just gonna hinge at the hips with a nice flat back, feel it lengthen in your hamstring here, and then push through your heels back to standing. This is your second exercise. So a deadlift. So we're gonna go back and start with squats to reverse lunge. So here we go, we're counting every squat. So squat down, reverse lunge, one. Squat down, other leg goes back, two. Squat, three, four, five. If you want weights, hold them up at your chin. Here's seven. Come all the way to standing. Step it back, eight. Nine, last one for 10. All right, quick break. That is the first exercise, squat to reverse lunge. So you're alternating the legs. Okay, this can also be done with no weight and you're just gonna go through the motion. So shoulder roll, you guys. We're gonna keep a nice flat back if you have weights. Try to have your palms stay facing towards you. And I'm just hinging at my hips. I'm not really bending my knees. I'm keeping a nice flat back. I lengthen in my hamstrings in the back. And I'm pushing through my heels to stand. So come on down. We'll count that as one. We're doing 10 of these. The heavier weight or object you have, the harder it's gonna be to nice and slow down. I want you guys to feel this. Three. So in the hamstrings, in the back of the leg, it lengthens. Push through, squeeze your glutes at the top. Four. Keeping your shoulders back. Five. So we're not rounding at the shoulders, so pull everything back. Six. Seven. And at the top, try not to squeeze so much that you're going back. Eight, so just a standing little squeeze. Nine, last one for 10. All right, set that down, quick drink. Nice job, you guys. So those are the two exercises, and we're gonna do it three more rounds. So you can adjust your weight if you need, or stay body weight. Okay, nice deep breath. Making sure our belly button is to spine, so we're bracing and engaging our core, helps protect our low back. This is the energy spot. If we don't have this, we're gonna be off balance, we're gonna be off. All right, so squat to reverse lunge, alternating legs, counting every leg, here we go. So squat, step it back, one. Squat, other leg. Two, if you have your weights, they're up at your chin. Three, squats, come to standing. Four, five, six, 
six. Find a nice rhythm with perfect form, you guys. Seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Woo. Nice work, you guys. It's getting hot. All right, grabbing your object, or if you're just going to stay with no weight, you can even almost hold that towel or a broomstick or something and just work on that form. And I, even from this position, I can feel my hamstrings lengthen and I push through my heels, squeezing my glutes. So if this is new to you, go light, just go through the motion. It's gonna kind of be like you're waking everything up again. Here we go, shoulder roll, strong core, slight bend in the knees, nice athletic stance, hinge forward, keeping a flat back. Pushing back to standing, one. Take it nice, slow, and controlled. Two. And I'm not throwing my back or my belly out at the top. I'm squeezing my glutes right here. Just five. And I'm going down just far enough to feel those hamstrings, six. Seven, pushing through my heels, eight, nine, last one for 10. All right, set that down, quick break. Halfway through, so two more to go. Okay, again, if you have your weights or that pot or your bag or whatever you guys want to hold, keep it up at your chin. And we are back to squat with reverse lunge. All right, nice deep breath. You guys ready? Here we go. One. Oops, seven back. <laughs> I was going to do a curtsy lunge. Two. Three. Straight back. Both knees bend, four, five, six. All right, here we go. This is the side view, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo, my legs are burning, are yours? Grabbing your, I'm going a little heavier for my hinges. So swap out if you guys need, or set your weight down. Nice deep breath. I'm always giving myself that shoulder roll just to help keep my shoulder blades back and engaged. Here we go. Hinging at the hips, so I'm not squatting. Okay, so hinging at the hips, pulling back up, one. Nice flat back. Two, think about your body moving. What muscles are working? Here's five. Six. I'm keeping the weight super close to my legs. Seven. Just going down as far enough till I feel that lengthen. All right, one more. Taking it slow and controlled. Nice job, you guys. So, yes, you can start to feel that in your back, but not low back where you're like, ow. But I kind of feel it in my lats because I'm pulling and engaging the weight in front of me. So my back is working. Okay, so it is okay to feel in your back, but not in a bad way. You are using those back muscles as well. But when keeping your core strong, you'll help support that and brace it. So you should be okay. All right, last round, you guys. Weights up if you have them or just do body weighted. All right, here we go. Slow it down if you guys need, but count every lunge. Two, three, four, 
Come up to standing in the middle. There's six, seven, eight, one more each side. Whew, nice job, you guys. All right, last one. Deadlifts, or I like to just call them hinges, because you're just like a door hinge at your hips. Okay, set yourself up for success. Nice deep breath. I have a slight bend in my knees. My athletic stance is a little wider than hip width. Flat back as we hinge forward. Coming back up and I'm squeezing my glutes at the top. One. Two, I'm not letting my shoulders go. Okay, so I'm keeping them back and down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Four more to go. Nice and slow and controlled, you guys. Seven. Eight. Have intention. Nine. And ten. Nice job, you guys. First circuit is over. So grabbing a drink. A little bit longer break in between. If it's also 70, 70 degrees in your house, you're probably sweating like I am already. So quick drink, and we're going to move on. All right, you guys, we have three exercises this set, or circuit, and we're going to go up in reps. So we have sumo squat, high, um, I think that was supposed to say high plank leg lifts, and hamstring walkouts. So option to have weight with your sumo squat and everything else is, is body weight. 20 reps each, three rounds. So I'll explain each one before we start each one. So sumo squat is that wide squat position and my toes are pointed out because I want my knees to track with them. So don't let your knees cave in, pull them out, use your adductors, be strong, you have it all here. Just tell that brain muscle connection to work. Whew. Sumo squat, so you can either hold your weight up or you can just hold it right down here or body weight. And we have 20 reps, okay? So find your wide stance, toes angle out a little bit. Again, keeping your shoulders back and you wanna think about your tailbone just going straight down. Little hinge with a forward lean is okay, but not too far. All right, let's get going. Down and up, one. We're doing 20. Two, three. So as you're down and low, you're gonna feel adductors, four. Push through your heels, squeeze your glutes at the top. Six, seven, again, slow and controlled, but a pretty quick tempo. Eight, nine, check your knees. Here's 12, 13, 14. Is your weight in your heels? 15, 16, 17, 18, last two, 19, and 20. Nice work, you guys. All right, an adjustment for the knees there. Just bring it in a little bit narrower if your knees, because sometimes it just doesn't work out wide for some people. All right, high plank position. So modification option, you have that incline. So chair, table. Wherever you're gonna be, high plank, and you're alternating your leg lifts. Easier option with the chair. Next level with your knees, you're just gonna extend out, okay? And you're gonna really focus on squeezing that glute. Or the harder option, up in that full plank, alternating your leg lifts. And try to shoot your heels straight up, okay? Not out to the side. All right, 20 total. So alternating, so find your high planks, straight arms, nice deep breath. Here we go. One, two, 
three, four, nice flat back, five, six, don't drop your belly and kick it up, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, or you're on your knees, kicking it out and squeezing the glute, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Nice work, you guys. All right, third exercise, you're gonna flip over, lying on your back. Feet flat to start, arms out to your sides, and you're literally just gonna walk your feet out, out, and in. So we're only counting your outs. So you're gonna be on your heels with your hips up, walking out, out, and in. So that's two, we have 20. All right, so here we go, lifting your glutes, nice flat, all the way up at the top of your body. The further you walk out, the harder it's gonna be. Here we go, you guys, walk it out, out, and in. That's two, three, four, five, six, pushing through your heels, seven, eight. Keep your butt off the ground the whole time. 10 more, keep your hips high. There's 12. 13, 14, and in, 15, 16, there's 18, and last two, out, out, and in. Drop those hips, hugging your knees, so create that arch in your low back. Roll to your side, and come on back up, quick drink. Back to sumos. All right, so if you have that weight you want to add, you can just hold it up at your chin or just let it hang with gravity and you're just gonna hold it right here or up at your chin, wherever you guys want it. So finding your stance, step it pretty wide. Again, if your knees aren't liking this, just step it in a little bit, toes stay forward and just keep it here, okay? All right, sumo squat adds a little adductor work, so that inner thigh. Okay, here we go, 20 of them. Down and up, one, two. Wasting my heels still here. Three, four, five. If you want double the weight, two dumbbells right at your chin. Seven, eight. Come all the way up, you guys, nine, 10. 11, 12. If your toes are wide, your knees are wide. Five more. 16, 17, 18, 19, and last one for 20. All right, high plank leg lift. So again, you can high plank off your chair or table. You can high plank from your knees or on your toes. Your most challenging option, kicking your heel up without dropping your belly. So pull it in, nice flat back, nice deep breath. Here we go, you guys, from your high plank, squeeze your glute. One, two, gaze is down, keeping it in line with your spine. There's five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Again, nice, slow, and controlled. Five more. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and last one. So finish up after twenty total, and then we get to flip it over, lie down. So I'm on my back to start, hands are out at my side. Before I begin, I'm gonna lift my hips as high as possible and I'm actually like shimmying my shoulder blades underneath me a little bit. Nice deep breath. 
Count every out, out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. The farther you go, the harder it's going to be. Keeping your hips up, though. There's eight, ten. Out, out. Don't count your ends. 12, 14, 16. Nice work, you guys. Push through your heels, feeling it in your hamstring. One more each leg. And rest. Hug those knees in. Roll it over, you guys. We have one more set. Whew. All right. Back to sumos. All right, so wide stance. If my toes are angled, that's where my knees are heading. Whew. Nice deep breath, keep your shoulders away from your ears. Maybe you have your weights, maybe you don't. Just focus in on your body weight. Okay, you guys, 20, down and up. Here we go, one, two, three. Try not to let your knees get squirrely. Six, seven, squeeze your glutes at the top. Eight, nine, 10 more. Last set, you guys, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, last three, 18. Nice job, you guys. 19, finish up after 20. Come on down, high planks. Again, high plank just means straight arms. You can do it from your incline, from your knees, from your toes, whatever variation works for you guys today. If you haven't tried your toes, maybe try it out. But again, you got to keep a really strong core so you don't drop your belly and arch your back. So pull everything in. Flat back, high plank. Here we go. Counting every leg lift for 20 total. Have your wrists right underneath your shoulders so you're not too far back. Drop your butt. All right, we got 10 more. 11, 12, 13. Squeeze that glute. 16, 17, 18, last two. And drop to your knees. Flip it over. So bridge position. I'm using my hands as a little leverage at the sides. All right, so hips up, and I'm kind of bringing my shoulder blades underneath a little bit, squeezing my glutes here. So my weight's in my heels, I can wiggle my toes. Let's step it out, out, in, in. Keep those hips up, you guys. That was already two, four, five, six. The farther you go, so straight legs, woo, way harder. There's 10, 12, keep those hips up, you guys, 14, 16, 18, and last two with your hips high, bring it in, drop your butt, hug your knees, roll kind of side to side, nice job, you guys, that circuit. It's done, we're gonna roll to our sides so we don't roll ourselves up and hurt our necks. Grab a quick drink and we have, the next circuit is back to four sets, just two exercises. All right, the first one is kind of single leg, but we're in a split stance positioning so either our right or left foot is forward or back. So split stance, and we're gonna do 10 each leg, and then we go into a side plank with 
like a side knee to elbow crunch, which I'll show you. And we have 10 reps each side. So we're doing both right and left here. And we are halfway through class, you guys. That first half always flies by. All right, so this is also a stationary lunge positioning. So you're gonna have four split stance, it's the same thing. So my weight's gonna be in my front heel, my back toe, and my knee is just gonna drop down straight from my hip and come back up. So you're just going down and up, that's one. And as I come up, I'm squeezing my quads here and then dropping down. So you can hold weights at the sides, or again, up at your chin, and we're doing 10 each side. So your stationary lunge, or split stance positioning. Okay, we're not gonna hinge forward. We're gonna try to shoot our tailbone straight down to the ground with our weight in our front heel, back toe. So come on down, one. Right back up, squeeze. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, a lot of pressure on that back thigh, so that's where it's gonna to start to burn. Nine and 10. Same thing, other leg comes forward. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Down and up, one, two, three, straight down and up. Four, your weights are right at your side. Up at your chin. It's eight, nine, and last one for ten. Whew. Leg burner. Nice job, you guys. So, option when we go back. If that's too much, you can alternate legs. It gives that leg a little bit of a rest. So, alternating is an uh, easier option if needed. Okay, second exercise, side plank. So modification, that inner knee is gonna stay on the ground. And maybe try this in this positioning first, because from our side plank, we're reaching our elbow to our knee and bringing it back out. Reaching elbow to knee. So like a little side crunch in this uh, side plank position. So. It can be from up here, okay? So you're just gonna reach from here, or you can reach it long, okay? What would you like to know about Jess Morris? So knee to elbow, either from your high plank on your toes or drop that bottom knee. Okay, we're doing 10 each side. Here we go, elbow to knee, one, back out. Two, reach it long. Three, crunch it in. Try to keep your hips up. Four, a series talking to me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. Side plank positioning wherever you are. This is your easier option. Just take it through that motion, okay? So same elbow, elbow to same knee, crunch it in and back out. One, two, three, four, five. Keep your hips up when you reach it long. Six, seven, or you're up on your toes as your harder option. Eight, nine, and 10. Woo. Nice work, you guys. A little hip and side glute burn there as well. Okay, you guys, come on back up. Quick trick. Remember, we have four sets with the two exercises. All right, back to our split squat. Okay, it can be just body weight. Holding your weights at the sides of your body is another option. Or up at the top. Nice deep breath, shoulders back and down. 
Strong core. Drop that back knee. Here we go. One, two, three. Squeezing your quads at the top. Four, five. You're on your back toe, front heel. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. A tenth one is hot. It's burning. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back knee drops straight down. Nine and ten. Whew, come on down, you guys. Side planks. If you need to shake it out or walk around. Do that before you come on back down. All right, so I'm on my forearm. Modification is that bottom leg is down with the knee bent. We're gonna bring our hips up into that side plank, whether it's from there, stacked or staggered. You're gonna reach long, crunch it in. Harder option, keep that top leg up two, three, four, or again, you're here. Five, hips up there and crunch it in. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, and then we're gonna switch. Switch sides. Same thing, wherever you are, here we go. If you can keep that top leg up, one, harder option, two, three, four, or again, you could just be here, five, six, or staggered, seven, or with that bottom you bent, eight, nine, and 10. Drop your hips. Nice job, you guys. Okay, halfway through, we have four sets, so we're on set three. Quick drink, back to split squats. No comments, so that's good. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Let me know if you need any adjustments or other modifications. Okay. Maybe add your object or weight. This time, let's step it up a little bit. Let's make it a little bit more challenging. We're here to work. I'm doing it. Here we go, shoulder roll, strong core. My heel, back heel's up all ready for that weight distribution to be front heel, back toe, down and up, one. Two, squeezing my quads at the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Here we go. One, try to go right into it. Two, Three, four, five, six. Try to go straight down. Eight, nine, and ten. Step that down. Come on down, side planks, ten each side. Okay, stay modified with your. Bottom leg down, but try to lift those hips as high as you can to start. And then you're just bringing same elbow, same knee, but you're not opening up. So bring that hip back to the side. All right, here we go. One. So you want to stay stacked sideways, not open. Here we go again. Two, three, reach it long. Four. Five, six, 
Six, seven hips up, you guys. Eight, nine, and 10. Switching sides. Try to go right into it. One, I gotta reposition. Two, three, your hips drop a little for the crunch, but push them right back up. Five, six, my hips are stacked sideways, not open. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo. Okay, so since we're holding ourselves up, that inner side, little small glute knee muscle, you might start to feel. Okay, quick break. Grab some water if you guys need. Last set, back to split squats. Can you add weight? Somebody's mic is on, so if you just want to make sure that is off so you don't hear any background noise. Thank you guys, back to split squat. <laughs> Here we go. Maybe you have your weights. Check in with yourself, where's your positioning? You got nice balance. Here we go, down and up. One, two, three. Again, squeezing your quads at the top. Four, five, six, straight down, you guys. Seven, eight, nine. Last one. Switching the front and back. Right into it, down and up. One, two, three. Your arms can go wherever it feels good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job, you guys. Hooey. It's burning, it's getting tough. What are we doing? Side plank. All right, trying to challenge yourselves. Can you come up with your feet stacked? Reach it long, same elbow, same knee. One, two, three. Before you make it harder on yourselves, keep that form. Keep your hips stacked. Seven, eight, or can you keep that leg up? Nine, and 10, six sides. All right, 10 on this side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, you can keep your leg up even if it's modified. Six, seven, eight, two more. And rest, you guys. Ooh, nice work. All right. Quick drink, quick little break. All right, you guys, this is our last circuit, and we're back to three sets, three exercises, 20 reps. And we have reverse crunch with a leg drop, donkey kicks. So we're going to kind of be on all fours, kicking our heel to the ceiling, and then goblet squats. All right, last three exercises of the day. So we are going to start down on the ground. And we have reverse crunch. So you're gonna lie on your backs, your feet are gonna come up ahead, overhead, and you're gonna use your arms as leverage, and you're gonna have control as you kick it back, and then add that drop. The farther you drop, the harder it's gonna be. Okay, so reverse crunch, little lift, leg drop. Keep that low back down for your leg drop. OK? 
Okay, we're counting every reverse crunch and leg drop. 20 total, so legs up. Control pushing up and coming down, one. Add that leg drop, two. Reverse crunch for three, four, five. So we're gonna do 10 of each, six, seven. It could be little movements, little motions, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, we have to flip over. So we're gonna flip over and we're gonna be on Hands and knees, so all four. And this is a donkey kick, so you're gonna bring your leg up. I'm flexing my ankle, so I'm not pointing my toe, I'm flexing my ankle. My gaze is down, and I'm gonna kick my heel up with squeezing my glute, and I'm not gonna kick it up and drop my belly. So it can be little, Movements. We just want to squeeze that glute. So kick that heel up. Here we go. One, it's not a lot of movement. Two, three, four. We're doing 10 each leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put that knee down. Other leg up. Here we go. One, two, Keep that ankle flex, three, four, flat back, but a little natural curve in the spine is okay. Six, seven, we just don't wanna be here. So bring it up, eight, nine, and 10. An option next time, if you wanna work the hamstrings and glutes even more, you can squeeze a weight in between and do it like that as well. Option to make that a little bit tougher if you guys want. All right, come on back up. Third exercise, you're gonna grab one weight or object. If it's just one dumbbell, a little bit on the heavier side. We're doing a goblet squat, so we're just gonna hold a weight at our chin. I'm holding it like this because it feels comfortable for me. Same thing, you can hold it here. But one object, right at your chin. Nice athletic stance and good squat positioning. We have 20 goblet squats. Here we go. Down and up. One, two, three. Again, don't forget to have intention of what you're doing. So you're squatting. Think about your muscles that working. Think about your form. Your seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, we're doing 20, 12, 13, 14, last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys, set that down. Quick drink. Do you see another comment? All right, hopefully we got that sorted. I do have music on in the background for me, so that might be it as well, but. Okay, you guys, we have two more rounds. So come on back down to the ground, and we're gonna go back to the reverse crunch with your leg drop. Whew, hope you guys are doing well. Feet up. Hands are gonna be a little leverage down at the bottom. And we're gonna push up through the ceiling and leg drop, keeping our low back down. So counting everyone. So two, three, four, five, little movement. Six, seven, eight, nine. You can drop all the way down. 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, last two, 19, 20. Whew. Okay, you guys, we're gonna flip it over. Donkey kicks. So all fours, knees and hand. So nice positioning here. We're gonna lift up and we're gonna do little movements and kicks. One, two, three. Try not to open and make some crazy swinging motions. Four, five. You wanna just squeeze that glute. Six, seven, eight, nine. And we're doing 10 each leg. Try to uh, kick it straight up. One, two, three. Four, ankle flexed, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, come on up, double squats. Medium to heavy weight. Twenty goblet squats. Nice deep breath, shoulders back and down. Here we go. Round it up, one, two, three, four, five. Try to hold it out in front, six, seven, eight, nine. We got 10 more. 15, 14, 15. Come all the way up to standing in between. 17, last two, Woo. all right, set that down, nice job you guys, quick drink, and we have one more set, one more of each to go, back to reverse crunch with our leg drops, nice job you guys, last round. All right, flying on our backs, legs come on up. I'm putting my hands on my sides. I'm gonna kick it up, control it down, keep my low back down as far as I can go. That was already two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try to lift that butt up. All right, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, 20, try to drop it all the way down. Nice work, you guys. All right, flipping it over, hands and knees. All right, stay with me, you guys. We'll finish this strong together. We got 10 donkey kicks each leg. So we're gonna bring our knee up, flex the ankle, kick it up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Try to keep a nice spot back. And 10, other leg. One, two, I'm really focusing on squeezing it at the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. All right, you guys, come on up. We're gonna finish strong, 20 goblet squats. Holding that weight at your chin. Nice deep breath. Check in with your form. Here we go, down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm actively holding this way out front. Seven, eight, nine, and 10 more to go, you guys. Nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way to standing. Set that weight down. Whew. Nice work, you guys. So a little cool down if you guys want. You can just kind of swing torsos around, stretch it out, forward fold, do some down dogs. Nice job, you guys. Week one is complete.